Powerful earthquake measuring 6.9 hit Japan late on Saturday night near the town of Orihiro in the north of the country and was preceded by an early warning broadcast on TV and radio. A tsunami alert has just been issued in the South Pacific after a magnitude 8.0 earthquake struck just northeast of Australia in the Solomon Islands. Uh, there have since been a series of powerful aftershocks that have hit the area. According to the U.S. Tsunami Warning Center, sea levels tonight indicate that a tsunami was in fact generated by this very large earthquake. And, but again, an 8.0 magnitude earthquake has struck in the South Pacific tonight. It has triggered a tsunami watch for, among other places, Samoa, New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, and the U.S. territory of Guam. putting on a fiery show like you've never seen before. A team of photographers capturing an incredible display in eastern Russia. Four volcanoes they found were erupting at the same time, just over 100 miles apart. This, nobody's ever seen anything like this. Four different volcanoes, four completely separate eruptions happening at the same time, unprecedented. an unprecedented upsurge in porpoise, dolphin and whale strandings along the west coast. In the last 10 days, over 20 dead dolphins and three whales have been washed ashore. The Irish Whale and Dolphin Group says the recent upsurge in beachings is certainly a cause for concern. Over the last 10 days, sightings of the dead sea mammals have been flooding in. But it's unprecedented really to have so much in such a short period of time. that immobilized more than 40 million Americans this weekend. Why this snowstorm paralyzed some of the most heavily populated areas of this country. At one point, the storm forced every road in the state to shut down. Boston was one of the area's hardest hit and record making here. It was the fifth largest snowfall 
on record in weather history. And to give you a sense of the power of the storm, the winds were as strong as a Category 1 hurricane with gusts up to 83 miles an hour. So again, this is not one but two storms joining together. The airspace is pretty much shut down. An emergency declaration. This was a, a record-breaking storm throughout the state. And responsible for taking at least nine lives. Extreme weather slamming the country, tornadoes tearing the south, a new blizzard developing. This is perhaps an extraordinary event that we are watching unfold here. You have signs down, you have power lines down, the power poles are snapped, there's debris all over the place. Uh, there are cars in the middle of the road, there are cars upside down. The 15 tornadoes were reported in that one line. This was on the ground, long running, long wedge shaped tornado. I mean, it was one tornado warning after another, they just kept coming. All of a sudden, the sky went dark, and then came the sound of terror, a giant tornado screaming through town. I've never heard it like that. It's usually loud. By the time the tornado hit Hattiesburg, residents say it looked a mile wide. This is not minor damage. This is significant damage. Benedict the 16th is going to resign. Pope Benedict will step down as head of the Catholic Church at the end of February, February the 28th. That is according to a Vatican spokesman. He is due to leave his ministry at 8 p.m. on February the 28th. No reason has come into us at, as yet as to why this resignation is happening. We still do not have any confirmation at all as to the reason for this. The information is very sketchy. It's really not something that's very usual. And, um, but what is very, very interesting is that he's actually chosen to resign. Yet, uh, as we were just saying, that is incredibly unusual. One in history that we can think of for a pope to step down. It doesn't um, happen. Absolutely. So there must be a very big dramatic reason for this time. Pastor, I have to say there was no speculation in, in weeks gone by that anything like this might be about to unfold. There hasn't been a story quite like this in the many centuries of the reporting of events at the Vatican, certainly not in modern times. We're hearing, though, in the last 20 minutes or so that the Pope, speaking in Latin, made this extraordinary announcement that he would step down. Uh, they quote a statement from the Vatican saying, for this reason, and well aware of the seriousness of this act with full freedom, I declare that I renounce the ministry of Bishop of Rome, successor of St. Peter. I'll show you some extraordinary pictures which came to us from the Vatican on what was, of course, an extraordinary day. Within hours of Pope Benedict announcing that he was to resign, take a look at this. Lightning struck St. Peter's Basilica. You can see it again now in slow motion. Extraordinary. It happened just before six o'clock in the evening, local time. A sign from God. Just hours after the Pope announced his surprise resignation, the heavens over Rome opened and the top of St. Peter's Basilica was struck by lightning. this hour. People in the Urals in Russia have seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded above the earth, causing a meteor shower. Eyewitnesses reported several blasts rocking the region and as long trails of smoke in the air. Uh, well, remember, uh, imagine you're driving to work on a beautiful, calm Friday morning and suddenly a massive fireball appears out of nowhere in the sky. You're thinking to yourself, is this a plane crash? Is this a rocket attack, a UFO? Well, when it comes to the Urals region in Chelyabinsk, the city in Russia, it's actually a meteor shower. This is what took place this morning. Really stunning images that you're seeing there right now. Now, what we know from officials, according to officials and eyewitnesses, 
is that a series of explosions, possibly five to six, took place when this meteor exploded in the air, raining down molten hot debris onto the ground. Now, this has caused widespread panic in at least three cities. Witnesses reported the walls of houses shaking, windows being blown out, uh, cell phones even reportedly stopped working in some areas. So there has been some concern uh, about potential small injuries at a school, unconfirmed. So some schools are reportedly being evacuated. We're also hearing that a zinc factory was hit by a piece of the meteor, but no leaks reported so far. The biggest issue right now is the falling debris and the smoke that the black smoke that people are reported uh, reporting that is hanging in the air. So very, very shocking. Uh, one interesting uh, fact of note is that the world is closely watching another meteor that's supposed to graze past the Earth later on this evening. That's the size of an Olympic sized swimming pool. This is an unrelated incident. On the ground, chaos as fragments slammed into Earth. Witnesses say they thought a war had broken out. It streaked across the Siberian sky and smashed into the Earth with the power of an atomic bomb, injuring more than a thousand people, mostly from broken glass. And in a startling coincidence, Earth has had its closest encounter with a large asteroid in living memory this morning. The 45-metre asteroid skimmed past Earth just 27,000 kilometres away, but it's a record close call. But that's closer than some of our orbiting satellites. Well, it has certainly been a strange 24 hours for things coming at us from space. The giant asteroid that came close to Earth, the meteor that exploded in Russia, and now tonight's breaking news, a meteor streaking across the Bay Area sky. Reports are coming in from around the Bay, but mostly on the peninsula. A bright blue light streaking across the western sky at around 7.40 tonight. As it was mighty bright up there in the sky. I've seen plenty of meteors over the years, and I don't recall seeing one with such a tail and for quite as bright, I guess, of a light as uh, this particular one was. You can see this wave of green moving up from the peninsula also into the North Bay. That's a sign of some of that unusual activity in the atmosphere. This is not fog. An NBC6 viewer was in the right place at the right time when a meteor was passing overhead. This is video of that meteor as it happened. Now, reports of similar sightings happened all across the state, from Jacksonville all the way down to Key West. Witches brew of weather is marching across the country. Arctic air, snow, ice, even the threat of tornadoes. 30 million people, 19 states from Arizona to Illinois, are in the storm zone. Gold Coast beaches have been battered with big seas carving away at the coastline, causing the worst erosion the tourist city has seen in years. All Gold Coast beaches were closed for a third day. The pounding surf is stripping away sand. Dunes at Miami are collapsing. Violent thunderstorms and torrential rains have caused chaos across much of southern Europe. In Italy, the Sicilian city of Catania was turned into a raging river with strong waters carrying away vehicles. Some 50 litres of rain per square metre fell in just half an hour. A giant sinkhole or crack or fissure or landslide, we don't know. That happened on State Highway 89 about 5 o'clock this morning. Apparently, the earth just sunk at this point about 5 or 6 feet right on the highway here. We're also told that throughout the morning, it's actually been getting worse. There have been other drops in the earth here. 
Heavy rain and damaging winds have begun battering parts of northern New South Wales where residents are on flood watch. Right now it is impacting with rain and thunderstorms, hundreds of kilometres of coastline stretching from Byron Bay down towards Taree. We've had wind speeds of around 126 kilometres. Sydney has been smashed by savage storms with hundreds of homes damaged. The wild weather has stretched from Kiama on the south coast to Kempsey and Grafton in the north. Thousands of residents in Western Australia's Pilbara region are being warned to stay inside as severe tropical cyclone Rusty edges towards land. Winds will reach up to 250 kilometres an hour when Rusty makes landfall tonight or early tomorrow. Torrential rain and massive storm surges are expected. Are we in the time, the season, the moment in time where some of this prophecy is being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. Wars and rumors of war. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places. And there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. In fact, I am alarmed at what I see. I have never seen the global atmosphere so charged, so uncertain, so tenuous as it is now. What we're seeing is this inundation of, of, of earthquakes and, and we're getting seven point something on the Richter scale almost on a weekly basis. I've, I've never seen that before. I mean, yeah, we get one or two of these things, but not every week and not all over the planet. And we go back to that prophecy, earthquakes in various places. We're seeing these things every single week and they're not going away. They're almost burgeoning. Now, the earthquakes are only one dynamic of it.